Carbon dioxide has a unique characteristic in that it has an easily accessible liquid phase. At its triple point, the point where the solid, liquid, and gas phases coexist in equilibrium, liquid CO2 forms. The amount of pressure necessary to access the supercritical point is beyond the capabilities of most college laboratories. However, if the CO2 is sealed in a container during sublimation, the internal pressure increases to such a rate that liquid CO2 forms. We will use this concept to extract D-limonene, a cyclic terpene from orange rind. We're going to take our 15 milliliter centrifugal tube, test tube, and insert a pre-made wire that we've coiled at the end and inserted a piece of coffee filter paper. This is going to serve as a divider of sorts so that the orange rind can sit on top of this without uh, going to the bottom of the test tube. So it'll separate the orange rind from the limonene as, as, as it is extracted. Next we're going to add roughly two grams of grated orange rind. It's important when you're uh, grating the rind to only grate the orange part, not grate the white pith. So we're adding the two grams of orange rind and just gently tap it down. You do not want to compact this. You want to have enough space so that the liquid carbon dioxide can go into these spaces and help extract the limonene to the bottom here. We're going to add enough crushed dry ice to fill the top of the tube. All right, I think that should be pretty good. Now you want to seal this cap on very tightly and straight. I really do find that 98 degrees Celsius works best. The reaction should start to go in roughly 20 to 30 seconds. There it goes. You can see the ice starting to melt. And then it starts to percolate. It's now liquefying. A lot of pressure is created. You can hear it, and you can also see my glove. This pressure is uh, very strong. It's very important to not remove the test tube from the hot water, from the beaker. This really should be done in a vented hood. Safety glass is worn. That's the first extraction. You see, it's just really exciting. It's percolating. You can see the D-limonene that's formed at the bottom. Now I'm going to repeat this process up to five times, any more than five times, and you really do reach your your uh, maximum amount of limonene that can be extracted. We used roughly two grams of orange rind and produced 0 0.0125 milliliters of D-limonene.